Hey everyone, it's Drake Copeland here, and we're right in the middle of harvest, and I thought I would take this opportunity to talk about, hey, what are we gonna do once we get this crop out of the ground? And it really goes to, when we're setting up for 2026, you wanna have clean fields, and fall herbicide applications are a great way to do that. In this part of the world, as in many, Italian ryegrass is our driver weed species when we're talking about fall herbicide applications. And because Italian ryegrass, the distribution of that pest over the last two decades has blown up tremendously, but at the same time, it has evolved resistance to several modes of action, just making it a bear to control. And a lot of times we wait till the spring on Italian ryegrass that's overwintered and we're making two or three more trips across the field versus if we'd have just put out a good residual application out in the fall. Now, I'll say, over the last 10 years, the Group 15 herbicides have done a great job managing this pest in, in not only crops like wheat, but also in fallow applications. That's where Anthem Flex has been a huge success for us, um, applied in the fall to manage Italian ryegrass through the winter and to the spring months. But what I wanna to talk to you about today is another option. Command 3ME herbicide. It is not a new herbicide to the market. You've generally seen it in rice and other maybe specialty markets or maybe in some soybeans for grass control. Uh, it's been a great product in those markets, but we've done a lot of work with our university partners as well as internal work at FMC on Italian ryegrass. And it just so happens that Italian ryegrass is super sensitive to command. Um, so in situations like what I'm in today, in this cornfield, if we're taking this corn out of the field and we're going to soybeans the next year, so a corn to soybean rotation, Command is a great option for that. Starting anywhere from a pint to 24 ounces would be a great application on this type of soil. Um, we're in the opposite though, if we're going from soybeans to corn, that's something where we have to look at the label. We do have a nine month uh, recropping rotation to corn. So it's just something to be aware of if you're in a corn and soybean rotation. But before I go any further, I wanna pass it over to my partner in the Delta, Lawson Priest, to talk about how you can use it in other cropping systems. Great, great points on Italian ryegrass. Um, we're really struggling here in the Mid-South to control Italian ryegrass with the post-emerge application in the spring, running into a lot of glyphosate, running into a lot of clethodim resistance and having to heavily rely on paraquat. But usually if we're trying to control overwinter dry grass in the spring with paraquat is taking multiple applications. So we have to be proactive and use a fall residual product to keep dry grass from coming up in the fall um, so that we're not trying to clean it up in the spring. Now, moving into our crop rotation, what differentiates Mid-South from Drake is we have rice in the rotation and the Command 3ME herbicide can be applied in the fall and rice or soybeans can be planted to that acre. So there's some acre flexibility and keep your acre open to rice, you can keep your acre open to soybeans. Um, and Command by far is one of the most active soil residual applied herbicides that we have to control the town of dry grass. Um, it does a great job when we apply it in the fall. Use rates on Command really changes based on your soil texture. Um, on a mixed ground, we're recommending 16 ounces of Command 3ME herbicide. When we move to a heavier ground, something with a CEC above 20, we're up around that 24 ounce uh, rate of command that needs to be applied in the fall. A couple best management practices on pu putting out a fall burn down if it's your first time to do it. Um, really, we need to get any fall groundwork completed, um, whether you're hipping rows or you're slicking off ground uh, flat for a future rice crop, we need to get that groundwork completed. We need to get a rainfall to settle any clods in the field, also to slough off any beds that we pipped in the fall. We want those shoulders of the beds uh, to settle, and then we can come in and we can make a fall application of Command 3ME herbicide. Now, if you want to broaden the spectrum of Command, uh, you can add in a flumioxazin product. Uh, it, it will help on some troublesome weeds, whether that's pepper weeds, swine crest, some of the hen bits. And if we have any ryegrass up at the time that Command 3ME herbicide goes out, we really need to have paraquat in the tank. Or if you know select or uh, glyphosate is working in your area, that can be an effective post option that we need to have in there. But if you have ryegrass up, we need an effective post herbicide mix with it. Um, but overall, Command has been very consistent with performing herbicide in the fall to control these Italian ryegrass populations, and it's been a formidable one 
for us to utilize here in the mid south. Drake, I'll turn it back over to you. All right, thanks, Lawson. So that wraps up how we manage Italian ryegrass with Command 3ME herbicide through fall applications. The next thing I want to talk to you about is the new program we're launching in 2025 called Command Cash. This is a program that gives a grower the opportunity to save $5 per gallon of each gallon purchase of Command this fall. So please reach out to your retailer and find out more about that program. But while you're in there talking to your retailer about saving $5 a gallon on Command, ask them about the 0% financing that we have going on this fall to next fall. This is a great opportunity to save not only on your herbicide costs and financing that could go along with that, but also the cost you save by applying a fall herbicide for Italian ryegrass control versus the two or three trips that you take in the spring. So appreciate you listening to this video. If you have questions, pre please reach out to our first line of defense, our field sales reps. If you wanna find out more about FMC, a good place to go always is our website, which is ag.fmc.com. And I appreciate you watching this video and good luck through the harvest this season.